Hi, welcome to McTish. Today I'm going to take you through the new features and functionality of Content Manager 9.4. Today we will start with the Home ribbon and there are two new items on the Home ribbon. The first one is the Explorer. This displays an Explorer type view of your items in Content Manager. On the left hand side here I have my favourites. I can look at my favourite records. I can right mouse click in the list pane and it will display me the right mouse click menu. If you have folders inside your favourite records, you can expand the records and see the folders and the contents of these folders. Also, if you have any classifications that are your favourites, you can click on the lowest term and it will display the folder attached to the term. This is customizable on this side here. You can right mouse click and go into the settings and you can determine what you would like to display in your Explorer view. You can also determine how many items you want to limit the display to as well. So if I add in my to-do items, I now have my to-do items on display and I have to buy chocolate. The classifications, I can actually browse via my classifications here and see what is associated with the classifications. Another new item inside Content Manager is the dashboard. This gives you a bit of an overview on what is overdue and what is due within the next 31 plus days, zero to 30 days. So for example, how many records did I have assigned to me over 31 days ago? I can double click on the number 11 and it'll actually open a window displaying the items that have been assigned to me over 31 days ago. Also, if I have documents checked out, I can double click, for example, on the total and it will retrieve all the items I have checked out. If you need to know what actions you have overdue, zero to 30 days, just double click on the number and it'll actually bring up the actions. If you need to refresh the window, you have a refresh button down the bottom here so you can refresh it as you require. Another item they have included in Content Manager 9.4 relates to your Quick Find toolbar. You've probably noticed the little quick select icon that used to be a folder has been replaced with a magnifying glass. Now if you click on the drop down, you can see there is a lot more available in here. As I scroll down, these are all your available search methods. So rather than having to click on the quick select icon to locate them now, you can actually just scroll through the list. The items you have used previously will appear at the top of the list, which is basically everything above the word access control there. And the searching still works the same. So that is actually pretty cool. In relation to adding new records, they have made some minor changes to some of the lookup windows. So if I create my new record and I want to add this record into a container, my select from records window appears. At the top of the window is a little quick find toolbar that is available to use, including all of your search methods available in the dropdown. As per normal, you would do a search for your folder in this case. Make sure you click on the magnifying glass to run the search and it will retrieve the information. If that's not what you're looking for, you can go back to the original way, recent containers and select your folder. It is also the same when you're looking up a location for a location field. You have your quick find toolbar sitting on the top. Type in who you're looking for. Select them and click OK. Once you've completed those fields, you can click OK. Another cool thing that I will mention now is when you're creating or completing the title free text part, you now have a drop down and it remembers the last X number of titles you have created. So if you do need to use another one that you've recently typed, you can just select it and then update it. And your record is created. Another item they've added into Content Manager 9.4 is a recycle bin. Remember those days where you've accidentally added a document into Content Manager that needs to be deleted? Well now what you can do is you can send one or multiple records to the recycle bin. So select the record and under your right mouse click send to you will see the recycle bin. You will get asked confirmation if that's what you want to do. Click OK. You can send multiple records to the recycle bin at once. All highlighted rows, yep, and it's been removed. If you do 
accidentally remove an item to the recycle bin, you may need to contact your administrator so they can restore it for you. I'm logged in as an administrator at the moment, so what I can do is I can just show you where they are. They're under search, and at the bottom of your record searching, there's the recycle bin. It will give you a list of items in the bin. If you need to restore one, you can select it, right click, remove from the recycle bin. And you will get confirmation on removing that record. How long the record stays in the recycle bin is determined by the system options. Automatically empty recycle bin and you can determine how long that actually is. So they are some nice new features for the users. Now for the admins, you probably just noticed when I went into the system options, it's displayed a little bit differently. It's, an, it's now much easier to navigate through. Plus you've also got the option to search through the system options if you're looking for anything particular. So if I go looking for compliance, it'll tell me where the word compliance is located. This is exactly the same for your record types. They have changed the way this is displayed as well when you go into the properties of a record type and you have the ability to actually search through the tabs. Much easier than going through every single tab trying to find out what you're looking for. They have included a nice new search as well and it allows you to look for records that have a certain number of revisions. It is under your search methods. You will find it under document management and it's called revision number. I'm going to do a search for greater than three revisions. And I'll return the records that have more than the specified criteria. This one I have returned has nine revisions. So that will be very handy to find out all the records have that have a certain number of revisions. They have updated the ability to customize the view pane. So in the past, you had to select a record type and customize the view pane one by one. Now, if you customize the view pane, you can customize multiple record types at once. So I can select the document and the email. I'm going to pick some properties and fields to add or remove. I'm going to add some fields. I might like to add, for example, the assignee status. The checked in by. Click OK. They're going to add, and if I want to remove any of the fields, I can just click on remove and remove any, select the fields to be removed. When I click OK, you will notice the assignee status and the checked in will appear down the bottom. There they are. So that is for the document record type. If I select the email record type, they're sitting down the bottom as well. So now you can customize the view pane for multiple record types rather than having to do them one by one, which can get very tiring. One last feature I will show you today is the ability to search through the audit logs. View your audit log as per normal. In the audit log viewer window, you now have the ability to do a search. With the find, type in what you are looking for and you are searching the events. You can search them one by one. You can press F3 to go to the next one or when you do a find, you can do all of them and it will display all the events that you wish to look for. That is all I'm going to include in this video for today. I will do a follow up video in the next few weeks with some new features and functionality of Content Manager 9.4. Have a great day.